Hi, welcome back. In previous video, we have understood Spring Boot starters, right? In this video, we are going to take a look into Spring Boot starter parent dependency. So this is a very, very important dependency, guys. And whenever you create a Spring Boot application, then you will see this dependency as a parent for your Spring Boot application. Okay. And as a Spring Boot beginner, you have to understand this dependency because this dependency is very very important and right? it does a lot of stuff behind the scene okay so basically whenever you create a spring boot application using spring initializer then spring initializer will add this dependency as a parent dependency for your spring boot application and this parent dependency basically provides a default configuration for your spring boot application now the question is what default configuration well if you go inside this dependency you can see that java version here okay within a property section you can see java version by default the java version is 1.8 so this spring boot starter parent dependency provides a default version for java that is 1.8 so if we don't specify java version while creating spring boot project then this parent dependency will provide a java version 1.8 as a default java version okay and the question is i want to use java 16 which is the latest release then how can I do it? Well, you can override this property and you can specify whatever the Java version that you want. For example, so look at here, I can specify a properties section here and within that I can override a Java version section that is Java version property and I can specify whatever the Java version that I want. For example, I want JDK or Java 16. Okay, so this is how I can override and I can specify Java version that I want okay but if you remove this then spring boot starter parent will provide a java version that is default 1.8 okay so this one all right so this uh, this is you know the flexibility guys uh, so whatever java version you want to use you can just go ahead and you can override this property and specify the java version that you want but if you don't specify then by default uh, it will provide 1.8 okay so this is one default configuration and other default configuration you can see the plugins okay so it provides a lot of Marvin plugins guys okay we don't have to add a Marvin plugins in our spring boot application so this spring boot starter parent will provide you know a lot of Marvin plugins that is required for our Marvin project all right so spring boot starter parent dependency will provide a default java version as well as the Marvin plugins apart from that it will also manage the version of all the dependencies for example if you if you can dive into this dependency and you can see here the properties section and within properties you can see the dependencies versions okay active mq version and uh, cassandra version okay and if you want to see the hibernate you can go ahead and you can see the hibernate version over here all right hibernate version hibernate validator version okay http core version all right so all the versions has managed by spring boot starter parent we don't have to manage the versions over here and these are the default versions guys okay and we can override and we can provide our own versions okay that flexibility spring boot starter parent provides all right spring boot starter parent dependency it provides a default java configuration and maven plugins as well as it will manages the default version for uh, you know the dependencies and apart from that one more very very important uh, uh, very very important feature that spring boot starter parent provides is that if you can just go ahead and you can observe the starter dependency versions here spring boot starter web jpa security and test so these starter dependencies don't have the version right then how the versions you know maintained for these spring boot starter dependencies well this is maintained by spring boot starter parent dependency well whatever the version that we have specified to spring boot starter parent so this version by default added to all these starter dependencies okay we don't have to manually add this version here okay we don't have to manually add the version for these starter dependencies all right so spring boot starter parent will take care of adding these 
versions for these data dependencies okay so let me show you how this added so if you can go inside spring boot starter web dependency you can see the version here okay so this is how spring boot starter parent will add the version for all the spring boot starter dependencies all right guys so this is the you know importance of spring boot starter parent dependency all right it provides a default configuration for your spring boot application and we can override the default configuration even in our spring boot application all right i hope you understood the importance of spring boot starter parent dependency okay great i will see you in next video